Mark's gospel, Jesus sits and observes all the people, all the crowd, coming to give money to the temple. He was not impressed and impressed by the rich, so he gave nearly all of their spare change. He did not affect it with no money in his authority. But the poor widow gave for a pot of his things, gave for what she needed to live on. Now that may be what true love appears to me.
was very old spiritual understanding, wisdom, and faith. It's so overwhelming. And it's the only way out. I lament, I need for us, I need for all of our lives. But still, the question remains how shall we truly love? From a sense of event, from a really heart. How does one truly love those who are indifferent, uncompassionate, those who are misguided, those who are over spiritualizing everything? How does one truly love those who are afraid, terrified, perplexed about what is to come? How does one truly love? Say that prayer will be revealed to us new and holy ways to begin to love this world in a whole new way. Realizing that it will take more of us, not less of us, moving forward. That the call is not to be less engaged, but the call is actually the opposite to be even more engaged.
living that we will invest in our love story, our story of the spiritual growth, of the intersectionality of multi-identity and diversity, that we will use our prophetic voice to advance God's love and grace, not only at Calvary Baptist, but everywhere in partnership with our denomination, with PLTA and its initiatives, that we will not stop the healing and liberating work of God, that we will not remain silent in the face of injustice, that we will respond with God's story. Thank you. 